The West Coast Eagles went down to St Kilda by 14 points on Saturday. Adam Simpson joins me now. Adam, welcome. What did you make of Saturday's performance? Yeah, disappointing, Ryan. We just we ran out of legs there in the in the last quarter. Well, start of the last quarter in particular, we thought we uh, let ourselves down a little bit, and it was a bit of a scrap, wasn't it, for most of the day? And you know, we found ourselves in front at three quarter time, and we just couldn't finish the game off. So. Some good signs there, but disappointed overall. Now, Harley Reid's been offered a two-match ban for rough conduct. The club will fight it at the tribunal tomorrow. Can you talk us through that decision? Yeah, we just had a good look at it um, last 24 hours, and we think there's a case there to hopefully downgrade the severity of the impact. And, you know, I think that's up tomorrow, and we'll do everything we can to, to help him. So you're trying to get it from two weeks to one. You don't think there's a chance you could get the whole thing overturned? Oh, I hope so. I hope we get the whole thing thrown out, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to happen. So we'll, we'll work on best case scenario and we'll go, we'll go from there, Ryan. But uh, it's sort of out of my hands once the game finishes and it's over to the lawyers and, and the footy club. So they do everything they can to try and uh, get him off or reduce the, sus the suspension. From a bigger picture perspective, should players still be eligible for the rising star if they're suspended, do you think? I actually didn't know that rule that you, you weren't eligible for any of those awards. So, oh, look, it's probably not the time to talk about it after one of your players is possibly going to miss out on that opportunity. So <laughs> maybe ask me in a month when it settles down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I, was, I didn't know the rule was there. I thought um, that was just a brown though only. So maybe something to look at down the track. He had a brilliant second quarter, then copped a tag in the second half. I'm tipping that won't be the last time he gets that attention. But what did he learn from it, do you think? That was always going to happen. We prepped him as best we could. Um, I'm sure it's happened at junior level, but it just goes up another standard at AFL, um, especially when he had the impact he did in that first half. So, yeah, the type of player he is, he can go forward as well as on ball as well. So using those um, levers, I suppose, is going to help him down the track. And what can we do to help him as players as well? So it's first of many, I'm assuming, of uh, attempts to, to run with him. And, you know, worked for St Kilda on the weekend, but that's not to say we can't uh, work our way through it the next few weeks. Saw so Oscar Allen on the track this morning. He's looking OK. How far away is he? Yeah, not far. He trained today. He trained fully the week before. He'll train through the bye and, and hopefully available for, you know, um, Essendon after the bye. If not, that game might be Hawthorne at home the, the week after. So he's on track for after the bye. That's good news. Jake Waterman and Tim Kelly both missed against the Saints. Will they play against North this week? Uh, hopeful, more hopeful on Jake than Tim. So, yeah, haven't had a full medical report yet, but Jake was r reasonably close to playing on the weekend, so more hopeful for him. Tim, still not quite sure yet with his injury, how it's recovered. Haven't seen him today, but um, he's probably less likely than, than Jake. OK, and your mid-season draftee, Jack Hutchinson. Five goals in his waffle debut, not bad. Do you think he's capable of breaking into the AFL side in the mid to short term? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the game up in Northern was just really good for everyone. The community really embraced it. Um, you know, playing Perth there and a, a bit of a mineral resources derby for us, I suppose. Um, so great performance. And then Jack um, kicked most of our score as well. So for a guy who's, you know, hasn't really met everyone yet to, to, to do that, you know, fantastic for him. And I'm not sure how long it took Ryan Merrick to get into our side, but it might have taken one week. So it might be the same for Jack. We have to wait and see. Uh, he looks like a talent. The Kangaroos, Saturday afternoon at Optus. Adam, good luck. Thanks, Ryan. Cheers.